So I wanted to record um, a quick video showing a new feature that was released for FSW firmware version 450. Um, I think everybody's fairly familiar with the concept of Skippy recording. What we can do now is not only record the remote control commands from the signal spectrum analyzer, but also any connected signal generator. So I'm going to use the cloud for testing platform to demonstrate this. You can see I'm in my web browser. I'm just using Chrome and I'm logged in under my account. Um, here I have an FSW signal spectrum analyzer um, just on preset. And what I would like to do is turn on the Skippy recording, but I also want to connect my signal generator so that when I push buttons on the generator, it the commands, the remote control Skippy commands are fed automatically into the Spectrum Analyzer. So the first thing I need to do actually, I, I already have the the IP address of the generator here, but I, I will just quickly switch into the generator. So we'll go to the tab up here, select SMW200A, and then we're going to use obviously key emulation. And I'll just go down to the remote access tab and find our IP address. So here we are 192.168.231.25. Now I have that, I can go back to our spectrum analyzer, the FSW in this case, and under the IP address, just connect that and it detects automatically that the SMW is connected. And then this box here for combined recording becomes available and we can just turn that on. The next thing I need to do is turn on recording overall. So for example, um, we can turn on the recording and I probably want to start from a preset because that allows us then to get a complete um, set of commands. So the first thing I probably want to do is configure a signal um, and then configure my analyzer. So I'm going to switch back to the SMW200A and I'm going to configure a signal. Um, so let's pick something fairly straightforward, but, but quite common to what most people would do. So let's go to custom digital modulation. And then I'm going to select um, a wideband CDMA 3GPP signal. Um, I don't need to change anything here in terms of uh, filter and so on, or maybe I will. Let, let, let's change Let's change this to 0 0.3 just, just because we can. And then turn this on. And I probably want to also set a frequency and level. So let's change the frequency maybe to two gigahertz. I'm gonna set my level to minus 10. Okay, uh, last thing we need to do on the generator then is just turn on the RF. So the signal should now be being generated. If we go back to our spectrum analyzer, we can should be able to then see our signal on the screen. And we can go to, we can also set the same frequency. So two gigahertz. And maybe we set a span of, you know, 20, let's say 20 megahertz, just to get, a, get an overview. And what I really want to do is demodulate this signal. So in this case, we would look at K70. So I'll just open the mode key and we'll go to the VSA, K70. And this has already been demodulated maybe we can do some um, auto leveling maybe get a slightly better um, performance for the evm but largely that's everything that i i really want to do maybe i'd switch back and select the spectrum and, and have a look at this maybe we can even do um, an acp measurement on this so we can go to the mesh function and then select channel power aclr and we can select our standard quite easily under here maybe adjust some of the parameters just to give us a view. Oh, and the other thing that I, I didn't set was under the vector signal analyzer. I remember I didn't set our new filter um, setting, so I need to change that to 0.3. Okay, I think that's everything that we need now. And we, we, we can see that the EVM has, has improved because I've changed the filter setting. Um, pretty much have our measurements the way that I want it. And what we can do now is go back into the Skippy recorder and turn this off and we can see all the commands that have been used here during uh, the recording process. So for example, here we have the change of the filter on the FSW, me selecting different tabs um, on the FSW. And if we, if we go further up the recording here, we can see the 
commands recorded straight from the signal generator. Now we we have this, we can export this. So we can we can save directly. Um, we can either save that as um, a, a script, effectively just a text file with with all the individual Skippy commands in, or we can export it directly to a, another type of file. So maybe um, I can pull this into a Python file. Okay, and um, we just call it file, and maybe I want to preview that so you can get a view of how that actually looks like in Python. So you really can just export this to a Python script and then run it directly. Um, you can see the analyzer has been configured and the generator has been configured with its own IP address. So this really makes things very, very easy for a customer or user to be able to configure two instruments and get a full recorded command setup for both instruments without having to go in and out of individual manuals.